Today I'm going to share 10 reasons with you why you should learn C Sharp in 2022. Welcome back! And if you're new to the channel, I'm a software engineer with more than 15 years of experience with the .NET platform. And this channel is all about .NET development. Now let's get into why learning C Sharp in 2022 makes a lot of sense. Make sure to stick to the end where I provide a bonus reason. C Sharp has been around for more than 20 years. With C Sharp 10 released in November 2021, we got more features that make it even simpler to get started with C Sharp. The language itself is statically typed, which means that the compiler will help you find errors before you run the application. It can be very helpful for beginners to see errors before running the application. There are many good videos, tutorials, blog posts and courses about getting started with C Sharp. The .NET platform offers countless opportunities to use C Sharp for your app development. You can create desktop applications, web applications, you can build mobile apps, apps for IoT devices, and you can even build applications running on the Xbox. Using the Microsoft Store, you can deploy your applications to millions of users around the world. You can even build applications for smartwatches, 3D games, and much more. The .NET platform is enormous and you have so many opportunities to build applications using C Sharp. You can develop C Sharp on Windows, Linux, and Mac. The applications you build for the .NET platform also run on all those operating systems, including Android and iOS, using Xamarin or .NET MAUI. Using C Sharp as your programming language does not limit you to specific operating systems or devices. When it comes to development, one of the important things is tooling. There is Visual Studio, which is a fully integrated IDE that provides a wonderful F5 and debugging experience for your C Sharp applications. With .NET Hot Reload integrated in Visual Studio, you can apply code changes very quickly. If you don't want to use Visual Studio for C Sharp development, Visual Studio Code offers a more lightweight solution. If you don't like either option, JetBrains Writer is another great tool that allows you to build C Sharp applications for the .NET platform. I'm sure you'll find the tooling that suits your best. The general performance of .NET applications is excellent. I don't want to go into too much detail here, you can find many detailed benchmarks online. The .NET team has iterated over the language and the platform for a long time and with every iteration they improved the performance a lot. As a statically typed language, C Sharp helps you detect errors before you run the application. As a beginner, it can be very helpful to have this feedback early on in the development process. With bigger software projects, static types help you while code refactoring, and it also allows new developers to get into the code base a lot more quickly. C Sharp is an object oriented programming language that allows you to use classes, interfaces, inheritance, polymorphism, and everything else you expect from an object-oriented programming language. C Sharp also provides a limited set of functional-oriented techniques. However, if you want to dive into functional programming, I suggest checking out F Sharp, which is another functional programming language for the .NET platform. There are millions of .NET developers around the world. If you run into any issues with the platform or the framework, you'll most likely find help online on GitHub, Stack Overflow, in a blog post or in a video. Being part of a like-minded community helps you keep motivated when learning a new programming language. It also keeps you motivated when hitting a roadblock and stops you from quitting early. The official documentation has improved a lot over the last few years. I can genuinely recommend using the official documentation to look up API calls or to understand the behavior of a specific keyword. There is nothing worse than learning something new and there's no documentation. Luckily, that's not the case for C Sharp or the .NET platform. The .NET platform and the C Sharp programming language both are open source. You can look at the specific implementation of an API or the inner workings of the compiler. You can even suggest changes to the language specification or provide feedback to API proposals on their respective GitHub repositories. There are countless free and paid resources to learning C Sharp. There is a lot of beginner content and advanced courses about Entity Framework or Xamarin Forms, for example. You'll also find a link to a free Blazor web development course 
on this YouTube channel in a link in the video description. Because there are so many developers using C Sharp and the .NET platform, there will always be people explaining new concepts, showing new features in practice and solving problems using the newest techniques and practices in the .NET world. I have had multiple jobs that allowed me to earn a full-time income using C-Sharp as the programming language to develop applications. C-Sharp has been around for a long time and it will be there in the future. If finding a job is your priority, I suggest choosing a popular programming language. Maybe you don't like Java or JavaScript, or you don't want to learn something new like Go and Dart, C-Sharp is a great alternative. Thanks for watching and see you in the next.